Hi, Mark Rogers here. Uh, welcome to this portion of the broadcast where we highlight a particular um, um, nonprofit association that's helping retirees. And we are excited to have Abby Cameron in the small studio here. And so I wanted to bring her on real quickly here as we think. Hi, Abby. Good to see you. Hi, Mark. Thanks for having me. Very good. So Abby's with the Three Rivers Community Foundation. And I'm going to throw that up on the screen as well. And you can see their phone number on the website. But the uh, Three Rivers um, Community Foundation has a specific goal. So let's talk a little bit about what it was set up to do. And our audience is those that are retirees, okay? So why was it set up and how could it, how could retirees or audience be looking at something like this possibly as something that could help them out in their planning? Sure. Well, Three Rivers was established in 1999. So we've actually been around in the community for a while. And uh, there are, um, I think, 900 plus community foundations across the country and um, 20 something in Washington state. So uh, community foundations exist to support a specific geographic area. And for us, that's Benton and Franklin County specifically. So we're very Tri-Cities focused. And we're about supporting the nonprofit community in our area. Um, what we do is uh, connect donors to the nonprofits that they want to support and the causes that are close to their heart. Um, what we are able to offer to do that is we have an endowment. So individuals who uh, start funds with us or gift dollars to us are added to that endowment. Um, it grows and grows and grows, and the proceeds of that are what we are able to use to support our nonprofit community. Um, and what that really provides to the donors is longevity. We're really able to use the word perpetual. We can help you with your perpetual charitable giving. Uh, we um, give an opportunity to establish a fund that's going to last during your lifetime and beyond and do the good, uh, the charitable work that's in your heart. Yeah, so that's great. Um, so it takes, so it, it provides a great opportunity to really filter out when someone says, this is my desire and this is my money. You can go to work to figure out the rest from there as to how that's going to work. Absolutely. When people kind of come in to explore this option with us, um, they come in with all different thoughts. Some people know exactly the individual organization they want to support. Mm -hmm. Some people have more of a cause that's cl close to their heart, like animal welfare mm -hmm. or uh, children's reading programs, things like that. And, and it, we can help identify organizations that are in our community, mm -hmm. that are solid, that are doing great work, and that have programs that need support. And so then we're making those connections. The third option is um, kind of unrestricted. We also have an annual grant program, mm -hmm. and any dollars that um, uh, are not designated for a very specific organization, we funnel into this grant program where our nonprofits in the community apply for a grant for a specific program or project, mm -hmm. and we connect those grant applications with the funds that we have available. Um, in 2019, that was about $83,000 in grants we were able to distribute. Very nice. Um, we're in that process right now for 2020, um, and we're expecting to be able to distribute at least $125,000, which is just amazing. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, and the, the, the thing is, is, is we all know in the retirees, you can't take the money with you, right? So how, what is the most efficient way to pass on that money? If it's going to be outside the family, if you will, mm -hmm. what, what desires do you have? So that's a, that's a great thing. So we got up on the screen, uh, the three, three rivers community foundation. You can see the phone number seven, three, five, 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 nine. Certainly reach out at three rcf.org. org. And, uh, and I'm sure Abby, you probably, what's, what's your role there? at the foundation so i'm the executive director okay and yeah uh, either myself or my colleague roseanne would um work with you kind of understand what you're looking for what you need what your questions are mm -hmm. um and we take your charitable marching orders you know, whatever your causes are we um we try and fulfill those 
Right. So, and, and maybe help with, um, you know, what's the smallest kind of donation would you take? Cause some, you know, some retirees go, you know what, I just don't, I, I think I have enough to live on, but you know, there might be a little something here. When do we make that decision? Do we make that decision, um, now, or we, or do we wait, make it our, you know, there, maybe they're 65, 70, or do they make it at 85? When do they make some ideas like this? What do you? Sure. Uh, I think a lot of people tend to think of it, um, as uh, in their estate planning for uh, for their legacy, uh-huh. but there can be a lot of comfort in starting a fund and kind of getting involved with us earlier and understanding the process and what options there are. So we do have quite a few people who have active funds with us now. They're making decisions annually based on our input input and information about what they want to fund. Um, funds generally start around twenty five thousand okay. dollars. Uh, you can build a fund up to that amount, so it doesn't have to be in one chunk. Um, and we also always really appreciate um, those kind of one-time unrestricted donations to the annual grant program, because that allows us to meet the greatest needs in the community. So it doesn't always have to be this longevity thing. If you want to start in a smaller way and kind of figure out a little bit more of who we are and what we do, we welcome that also. And then there's the other thing, and I'm sure you run into this too, where someone has RMDs, required minimum yes. distribution, right? What a great opportunity, right? To slide a little money over every mm-hmm. every year um, so that's not being hit on your income taxes and it slides over onto the foundations. Exactly. You can make one gift to us with the RMDs and mm-hmm. then direct us where you want that giving to go. And we take care of the paperwork, we vet the organizations, make sure that they are active 501c3s. Um, I do want to share that giving of that nature Mm -hmm. um, can extend beyond Benton and Franklin counties. Okay. Usually individuals have some organizations they know they want to support locally, but they may also want to support organizations where they grew up or other things that they care about. And so it it can be a mix. Um, We just always have to make sure there's a local focus in there as well, because that's our mission. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much, Abby. It's been a pleasure. And so for those that are out there that want to want to get in touch, you got the information at the bottom of the screen and uh, reach out to Abby and the team there in terms of how to uh, better plan for for leaving your money in in the way you want to impact. Right. So with that, we'll catch you on the next show.